Mike and the Dove. Thank you for joining us for our 2022 Pentecost Novena. Today is day six of our Novena. The theme today is the gift of understanding. Sometimes people ask me to pray with them because they want to know what gifts they have. And I usually get them to turn with me to Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2, which is exactly where we are in our Pentecost novena. There we have the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Spirit, which are permanent and they're given to us for our sanctification. They're often associated with the sacrament of confirmation. So friends, we have been given these gifts of the Holy Spirit. And during this novena, we're thanking God for the gifts that we have received. We're taking time to reflect upon them, to maybe unpack them a little bit more. And we're asking for the grace to go deeper. So today, I'm going to speak about the gift of understanding. The Holy Spirit is always leading us deeper into divine truth. We believe in a God of revelation. We're constantly seeing more of the Lord in our lives. If we're open, the spiritual journey is one where the Lord is always inviting us to put out into the deep. As St. John Paul II reminded us, we're called to put out into the deep of prayer and of mission. And that's why we need the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Usually, when we think about the gift of understanding, we equate this with intellectual pursuits. So we imagine that in order to understand, we need to read more or study more. And there is some truth in this. However, St. Ignatius of Loyola points out that it's not great knowledge that profits the soul, but the savouring, the, the pondering, the reflecting on spiritual things. And this is connected to the gift of understanding. Certainly, our understanding is connected to our intellectual habits, but the spiritual gift of understanding is more than just the intellect. It's a gift of the spirit that enables us to have a kind of supernatural intuition. Let's look at this in practice. You all know very well the story of Nicodemus that we find in John chapter 3. Maybe you want to reflect upon this as part of your prayer today. Nicodemus comes to Jesus in the night. In John's Gospel, that's always a sign of unbelief, of blindness. Nicodemus is an intellectual. You could say he's an academic. And he's struggling to know or to understand Jesus. In the dialogue, when Jesus presents him with the idea that he needs to be born again, well, Nicodemus cannot get his mind around this concept. He's trapped by the limitations of his mind, you could say. And he goes on to say, how can a grown man be born again? Can he go back into his mother's womb, etc.? He clearly needed the gift of understanding because he was never going to be able just to get his human mind around these profound and deep spiritual truths. Only the Holy Spirit, only this gift of understanding can open us up to understand the heavenly things, the things of God. Through the gift of understanding, we're able to penetrate the inner meaning of revealed truth. Understanding is one of the gifts of contemplation. 
And this is especially important when it comes to our reading of Scripture. The Word of God continually becomes alive and active as we're drawn deeper into revelation. This is what St. Paul refers to in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 when he says, The things that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, things beyond the mind of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. The gift of understanding enables us to embrace the call to live in the newness of life of the Holy Spirit. And our faith then ceases to be sterile and we're inspired towards a way of life that bears testimony to the faith that is within us, faith alive in the power of the Holy Spirit. So I encourage you to embrace more fully this gift of understanding. The gift is given so that we might be holy, we might grow in holiness. In the Beatitudes we read, blessed are the pure in heart, they shall see God. The Holy Spirit purifies us, cleanses us in order to build understanding and to transform our vision, our narrow vision, so that we can see more clearly the things of God. The Holy Spirit wants us to have a wider perspective. In Mark chapter 10, we meet the blind man of Jericho. He jumped up and he went to Jesus. And when Jesus says to him, what do you want me to do for you? He says, Master, let me see again. This is the call for each one of us on this day of our Pentecost Novena. Lord, give me the spirit of understanding. Help me to uh, unwrap this gift more fully so that I may see again. And you know, that blind man, when Jesus says to him, go, your faith has saved you, immediately his sight returned and he followed Jesus along the road. The blind man was not only healed physically, but he was healed spiritually because he began to follow Jesus. May we follow Jesus more fully this day as we pray for an increase of the gift of understanding. <music>